vegan because we are not dead carcass devouring monsters. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada y schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sira kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. You're here today, you know, working? What happened? Before. Yeah? <laughs> wow. You're a rich man, huh? <laughs> One week off, that's a lot. Why? I'm not coming every day. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you know, I've got to buy something, so by the way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's what you eat every day, like that? Yeah. 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 Like a big stew and then a salad. Rice. Huh? Rice. Rice. Yeah. Rice. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to have some stuff. Very <laughs> rice. Who cooked today? That brother? Nobody help him? Who was cooking? Three Two of them. Two sisters and... and <laughs> you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought the sister cooked them rather wrong. Good. Eat more up. Where's your sister? Your wife? to serve them every day. The thing is, sometimes we do things for love and then people keep expecting that all the time and even more. <laughs> Expect more all the time. So, dependent is not good for anybody. Yeah, because we, we should all do things ourselves, you know? Life is more fun that way. We got to live our life and everybody else lives theirs, yeah? Kids, it's good to train them to walk like that. When I was a kid, I walked all the time. My parents never came and got me nothing. I went one kilometer back and forth every day, about four times. For lunch, somebody stay in the lunch, but I go home and then go back in the afternoon. Maybe that's why I'm so tough. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody lives in the center? Sometimes they come, huh? Temporary, right? Two of you? And the brother at the back? Yeah. Why are you living here? <laughs> oh, you are a couple, right? Yeah. Ah, you used to live with your sister. How is yeah, she? Yeah, How is she now? She's waiting for initiation eagerly. Huh? Why you left her? Um, I don't know. Just felt 
we had to come up this way. Yeah. And she's coming in February. She's moving to this area. Ah, uh-huh, why? Because she wants to be closer to the centre in Brackets. Well, yeah, centre in London also. That's yeah. further for her. Hmm? I, think, uh, I think that's further for her, East Sussex. She's practicing well and she she loves reading and videos every day and yeah. she's eagerly wanting an She's alone, right? Yeah. Have yeah. brought have n- no, she's single. Husband? Single. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's easy for her to move here? She doesn't, doesn't have know, to yeah. work or anything? Um, no, she's she's gonna get some jobs here like we did. We came here and found work. Ah, uh-huh, it's easy. It's simple it? simple jobs. Is it easy to find a job here? Very easy. Mm-hmm. If you want a simple job, cleaning and things, it's very yeah, simple. Yeah, why not? Just enough to live. My yeah, God. there's lots of jobs for cleaning. No need to have a big new job, yeah? No, no. If you're simple, yeah? yeah. And we have a lot of time free as huh? well for yeah. meditation because we work very early in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then we you work in the morning here now? Uh, four or five o'clock we go and do our cleaning jobs. Wow. And then we got That's the whole very diligent. most of the day free. Oh, so I'm impressed. It's great life. It's very nice. I'm impressed. Yeah. Both of you working together? Yeah, we both clean together. But where do you get the cleaning job? In offices and people's oh. houses sometimes. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So you're employed by a company or just um, freelance? Some, some, some are freelance, some we're employed by mm. an agency. And, yeah. and you're fine with that? Oh, we you're like You're both it. early enough? Yeah. Yeah, I to live on, yeah. yeah. You look happy. Oh, very. <laughs> you're both very wise. Very, very happy, yeah. It's still your help. Hmm? It's just because of you. Why? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Miracles every day. You gave us an advice on a video to do something simple. Mm. Cleaning. Yeah. And it's worked out beautifully. If you want to be president of the United States, I cannot guarantee. <laughs> but if you just want to be to have an honest living by the labor of your hands, plenty. Just take the jobs that other people don't want yeah. and don't need thinking too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then your mind is free also. Recite exactly. the five names otherwise, bless in their home. Exactly. And pay get paid for. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we listen to MP3 when we're mm-hmm. cleaning too with your music yeah. and chanting yeah. and lectures. Ah, oh, that's nice. Also very um, healthy to do exercise. Some people have to pay a lot of money to go to the gym too. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah? And here you just, yeah. Yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. lift the chair, clean the table. <laughs> I used to have a problem in my knees when I meditated. Yes. But since I've been cleaning, it's so much exercise and bending. I have no problem now. Uh, really it's also exercise. the karma, honey. It's yeah, also the karma. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. If we uh, do some work to earn a living, it's better for everything. Mm. Oh, yeah, mm. you feel good in there. Mm. So when you feel good, the body feels good. Yeah, yeah. yes, and it's connected. Yeah, but the emotion, spiritual, mental, and physical—they're all connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know that very well. Yeah, huh? yeah. Sometimes when you're very depressed, you easily get sick. And pain here, pain there, pain everywhere. Pain here, pain there. <laughs> yes. So, some people, they look down upon physical work, you know, like cleaner or do anything. I don't. I have respect for everyone who gets a job and gets paid. As long as you get paid, <laughs> I have respect for you. <laughs> the people are really happy to come home to their houses all clean when they get home from work. Yeah. And we found that people who don't even know us just leave us their key and mm-hmm. we just go and clean. They're very trusting, mm-hmm. which is lovely, very trusting to yeah. leave us in their house. Because you're good. And clean. They can feel it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm happy for you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> and you're happy, yeah? Oh, yeah. Good. Say hi to everybody. You are so good. You're good people. Huh? Sorry, you must. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you who are good also, you know? Because you're good. You you have your your self esteem and self confidence. You just do whatever and you still feel great. Some people they, they don't have self respect so they think they have to be something in order to respect themselves. In our group it's different. You do what you do. As long as you take care of yourself, you earn an honest living, if you can. That's, that's all we want. We don't care who you are. Normally, I never ask. I, I mean, at the time of initiation, they do ask you what you do, just in case you know, in a group or something, go and help disaster victim or something. We know who's capable of what, yeah. Or maybe if you're in the center, you're at, appointed to work at what, you know. If you're an electrician, okay, take care of the electric in the center in case something goes wrong. That's all. But I, I never <laughs> need to know. I don't even know. Most of you, I don't know who. What are you doing? Sometimes I ask just conversation, just to talk. 
but I don't need to know who you are. I don't need you. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I just need to know that you're happy, yeah, and that you really like you're doing cleaning job. The really you're really living my teaching, no? Huh? I mean, you go earn your honest living and you take care of yourselves and you save time to meditate. That is the most respectful thing you could ever do. So when I hear somebody do this, do that job, you know, earn a little money to take care of himself, so you don't bother nobody and you don't incur any trouble. Because sometimes the more you spend, the more you have to borrow, and that binds you, you know. It's no good, no good. Huh? Better live within our means, you know, whatever you have. If you have big, spend big. If you have small, spend small. You don't need it. I had a business for nine years, and... Um Headache, huh? I'd never like business again. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, okay. No. Now no, my mind's free. Yeah, it's more free that way. No paperwork. Yeah. yeah. Not because of you guys, that's why I, I used to have this center, that center, but me, I don't want any. Do you have any like trailer park or something, you know? Just have a trailer. <laughs> it's good yeah. enough for me. Yeah. Or just a um, small hotel, you know, simple. Bed and breakfast, yeah. <laughs> Just in case I don't have any lunch and dinner, then at least a breakfast, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> so I have a bed and a breakfast, and that's all we need. Yeah. It's just also nice sometimes to live next to the sea or some mountain, you know? It's just for the... Fresh air. Huh? Fresh air, Fresh air yeah. It feels good. Huh? It's very open. Yeah, open. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, recent years, I developed like a claustrophobic kind of... Um, Problem. I don't know who gives me that incredible <laughs> present, but I'm still keeping it. <laughs> I heard that many people are free from it. They told me, I said, ah, bravo, good for you. <laughs> so that means, that means I'm still having to keep it for a while. So if uh, sometimes if the room with a small window or something, it does send me into some, you know, panic experience. Nothing that I cannot control, it's just unpleasant. You know, having to sit there and say, okay, nothing's going to go wrong. <laughs> and, you know, spend energy on calming yourself. It's no good. But after meditate for a while, it's okay. It's just that I have to go through it for somebody else's sake. Somebody who doesn't like this kind of present and <laughs> pass it on to me. <laughs> So that's why if you stay in a big mountain or ocean or something, it just feels a little better. Yeah, otherwise, everywhere is the same. Hmm? Actually, uh, I didn't feel all that bad. I tell you what, because when I was in Spain, the cave I lived in had no view at all in the front. You know, big trees in the front. And the width, it's only about maybe from here to, to that radiator over there. That's, you know, the wall there. That's the widest space in front of me. That's it. Otherwise, it's all trees, you know, and mountain, bigger mountain. Of course, the cave cannot be on the top of the mountain. It has to be in the middle somewhere or <laughs> or under, you know? So that one's just like, like almost at the foot of the mountain. Eh? Mm. And in front is a uh, stream. Only when in the winter, when the rainy season, there's a waterfall coming down in front of the cave, and it goes down to the stream, goes down there. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> I still have some vegan canned food <laughs> and uh, oil lamp and uh, solar light and stuff and my clothes in that cave. Mm. But the cave is not completely closed, you know? So I had a tent so that the rain didn't come in the tent. So I live in that tent under the cave. Mm. A cave inside a cave. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not all that bad. You get used to it. Remember though me, I love sun and, and yeah. warm climate, but I bear it. It's, it's not too bad. I will stay there forever. <laughs> Lucky you, never see me again. <laughs> Nobody scolds you ever again. <laughs> Goodbye, that madam. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, uh, it depends on where. You know, in the city, probably I feel panic, but you know, when too many people. But I guess it's not. It's not in the mountain. Then I was alone in a cave, and the cave is not that big. I mean, it's long, you know, but there's no view or nothing in the front, only trees and high trees, you know? So I guess it's not, I think it's just the city or something, huh? and the people being you know, around with people. Yeah, now I come to think about it, the cave is not that big. 
It's long and big, but it's not like yeah. big panoramic view in front of you or nothing. Just nobody. That's why. Yeah. I guess so. People' energy is just so different. That's what makes you long for space. Yeah. But for example, in this center, I don't feel that bad either. I don't feel you know like uh, too small the room or anything. But of course, I prefer if that wall has a bigger window, you know, <laughs> two windows instead of one. Yeah, but they painted some nice picture of lake and things. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Your kids? No, one of uh, my wife's kids. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's okay. Huh? Crying baby. Crying baby, yeah. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah I'm telling you. Mm. It would be nice if people leave us alone, huh? and you can stay together. Maybe one day we can do it again. I don't know. Right now I'm fed up. Don't ask me anything. Okay. <laughs> It looks like you guys have to take care of yourself. It looks like heaven doesn't want me to work for you anymore. I mean, like, take care, buy a center for you, and do every paperwork and all the hustling, you know, all the caretaking of like a manager of a hotel, you know. <laughs> so many years I bought a few places already, you know, everywhere, and uh, it looks like I can't stay anywhere too long, so it's no use either. Yeah, that I buy it there, and then you can't come because I'm not there. I mean, you can come, of course, but you're not interested to go there. <laughs> like Florida Center, you know, it's beautiful, you know, for example. But time to go, gotta go. Hmm? And uh, Costa Rica is also beautiful. Have you been there? Yes. And even we have it in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah I bought it also. I hardly seen it. I have seen it only one time. Climb the mountain, had look at it, and climb down again. <laughs> It's in the middle of a like fruit-like forest, you know, very nice. Yeah, I don't know what's come of it now. Probably people climb down there every day and meditate, you know, every weekend. You you can drive in it now, I think, because I made the roads on different sides. Yeah, I'm always a pioneer. I come when only the mosquitoes are there, and then later on, <laughs> clean up and make it nicely. You know, Meoli before also nothing there. Many places are all grown with uh, thick kind of thorny bushes. And then when I first went to one of those places, I had to, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> make a little <laughs> clear, and then put a tent on it, a small tent, a single tent that you often have. That's, that's what it was. Yeah, some of the places were thick with, with, thick with thorny bushes, you know. Later on, they had to use, um, I don't know, not just cutting, but use a cat, uh, you know, the 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 one that uh, pushes away the the earth. What you call that? Bulldozer, Bulldozer and and then uh, cat. You know, the cat. <laughs> yeah, all oh, kind of, and then to make it nice. Yeah. See, I kept going. You know, first I stay there, and then as a later, everybody liked to stay there. And then I moved to the jungle, and then cleared it all up. And then everybody went there again. And then I went to another jungle and cleared it up and stay there. The, just a tent. And later, everybody went and then ate up the whole forest. And now I'm gone. <laughs> Most of the time, I like to live. Before I used to live in the wildness. I love it very much. You know, like the mountain in Mali. Before, you know, we had land already, but I often went to the how tired, you know. Not the place that you camped uh, 10 years ago. So no, further up, upstream, you can only walk. Yeah? The place you camped openly, thousands of people at that time, that was uh, uh, when you could come in with buses. Even though you, you came down steps with the luggage, but you could go up there with buses. Where I went, no. <laughs> you have to walk, climb mountain, go to the river, climb again. Uh, yeah. Three, four hills and three, four parts of the river in order to get to a cave where I. I <laughs> that cave exists, huh? Yeah. It's uh, inspired by the real cave. Huh? The cave doesn't look like that, of course. But you can see. You can see some dimension, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's inspired by that real cave in, in Hao Tai. The cave is not that pretty. Just a hollow in the middle of the mountain and it has sharp stones and stuff. It's not like flat and beautiful the way you imagine. <laughs> yeah, but the rats live there, so I figure I could. <laughs> <laughs>
safe, you know. <laughs> the rats, they know where to live. All right, cool. So we live together. But after I moved my tent out that time, the last time I was there, I moved my tent out and went back to the so-called civilization. We came back second time, the whole tree has been moved from the top of the mountain with roots, branches, you know, all the whole thing as big as this, so big, as big as, you know, the root as big as this room, spread out, planted the whole tree, the whole tree was moved from somewhere on top of the mountain, right in front of the cave, and block it. You could climb over the tree branches and wigwag yourself right into the cave again, of course. But why planted the whole tree in front of a cave is beyond me. <laughs> but doesn't want anybody else to go there anymore, like hide it, you know. Oh, it was beautiful, the whole tree. Fall right in, in front of overnight like that. The roots are still hanging out. The branches are still thriving. It's not dead. The tree is not dead. Just it's been moved. Right in front of the cave entrance. Huh? I don't know. It protects the cave, all right, because I don't come back there anymore. <laughs> Probably just a sign that I don't come in here anymore, Master. Out, 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 go to work. Yeah, I always love to retreat. But it doesn't seem like whenever I go somewhere secretly or far away or isolated, it doesn't seem to work very well. Always somebody comes after a while and leaves me out. Or something happens, you know. So um, I guess I just live in the city for a change, see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes more anonymous in the city. Mm. Yeah, people don't care, they don't know the neighbor. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. This is a nice area. This one? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it, it is a nice area. It is, though. No, it, it's, oh, sorry and everything, it's a nice area. It is, it is a nice area. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice, love. It is nice. Because you feel, huh? You can move it upstairs if you like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> move upstairs? Oh, my room? I've got a window. No, I'm It's all right, it's all right. I come and go then, okay? Yeah. If, I just, if I have a room there, I just come and go. Yeah, sometimes if I come here and I take a rest and then go. Hmm? We we'll see. I don't know. I just came back a few days, and I don't think that much. Yeah, I don't know how it works anymore. The karma now changes so quick. I don't have time to sit there and <laughs> look into the crystal ball and tell you the future. I just let it surprise me. You know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> I took care for so many years already. I'm tired. I just like, okay, give me a roof somewhere or somewhere that people can sit and it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? It doesn't matter. It's mostly for you, you know, not for me. Yeah. I could stay in a, just a hotel. Yeah. Easy, simple. Yeah. Don't have to clean my house. <laughs> <laughs> Eat in Chinese vegan restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just buy some food and warm up at home. Eh? Mm. Yeah, mm. It's not an ideal life, but mm. more free for me. Sure. Yeah. So I don't have my name stuck anywhere and I have mm. to do all the paperwork or do something. Yeah. Sometimes it's, uh, it's better to mm. send a free for my name. <laughs> yeah, because you know, sometimes people are after me, you know. All right, yeah. Because of the things I do for the people and the Maya doesn't like, of course, no? the mm. king of the uh, hell doesn't like that I save so many people or they yeah. help, I help even many people, yeah, even physically as well. Mm. So, of course, the negative power doesn't want that, yeah? yeah. So he uses whatever left over of his uh, mm. employees to trouble me all the time. Right. <laughs> Many times, not all the mm. time. But So actually, uh, Jesus never had any centers and Buddha never had, you know. But uh, so same with Lao Tzu, Kong Tzu, you know, or Baba Chi or Maharaji, whatever. In the past, they didn't have any center for anything. They never bought anything. They never paid anything. They never <laughs> had any possessions or money, you know? So I thought I'd do a different way <laughs> this time. 
Yeah, it's been working with a lot of work for me. And now I think it's a time that I don't put my hands into those stuff anymore, you know. Too much paperwork and headache. and Anything happens, I just go right into the property. <laughs> and either make trouble or take it away or whatever. And it just, I don't want it anymore. Yeah? Okay, whatever. If you can do it, then you do it. If you cannot, then we'll just stay here. That's it, yeah. I, no desperado, desperado nada. Yeah? Okay? Because if we have a center, also very nice, but mm-hmm. a lot of care, you understand? Yeah. A lot of work, yeah? Mm-hmm. And then if we plant vegetables, it's also a nice idea, but yeah. who's going to plant it? Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to eat. <laughs> I don't think anybody yeah, yeah. wants to plant. Yeah. You do want to plant? <laughs> I said my husband. You what? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Okay, she already told. Yeah. All oh, these seven acres, do you think they can plant? Yeah, enough, enough. Yeah, it depends on what you plant. And you, you can, like, rotate, huh? Every season you plant different things. Even in winter you still can plant things. There are winter things you do plant. Vegetables? Yeah. 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 You know, like, what they call it? Kale or something? Yeah. The green stuff? Yeah. Kale, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And what else? Spinach, yeah. Um, even peppermint grows in winter under the snow, they grow, continue. I used to plant a, a bush of peppermint next to my house in Germany. It grew Ooh. all winter, I had a door all the time. Rotating, huh? And you can learn it from Brother Austria, Austria yeah. There's one sister in Hungary, she went there and learned, and she came back, she really made, wow, the, the, the salad was this big, uh, celery, oh, so big, everything big and big, big, big. And the uh, zucchini, it was as big as my thigh. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Really? I said, what's that? Is that winter girl? She said, no, it's zucchini. So big like that, big, big, long and big. I've seen it with my eyes, you know, and, and tomatoes, everything grows so big. All the vegetables, you know, normally like mustard uh, plant or something, it grows so big, big, big. And she just does what he does, you know. I don't see any fertilizer or nothing at all, <laughs> just grass. It grows so beautiful and sweet, sweet. <laughs> Have you ever seen a zucchini this big and long? <laughs> This big, you know, and long like that. I thought it was a winter gook, you know, those. Yeah, or squash, you know, those big ones? No, it's not. It's not. It's a zucchini. <laughs> Mostly you see a zucchini this big, if you're lucky already. So big like that and long. So many, you know. Can't eat it all. <laughs> they have to give it to the center in the city. And only one person even planted, one sister. And she does it just like hobby, like, you know. Yeah, it's incredible. So that system must work well. Mm -hmm. So if we plan that, we don't have to plan a lot. We will have a lot of food, too much food. Actually, it's a good idea. If we have a farm, if some of you can afford, then just live there cheaply. Like it's saving and uh, saving the money and just every day put a little money and do your garden yourself. Self-sufficient is better. It's a very wholesome life. Yeah, and holy, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you, you plant vegetables and you eat together and you go meditate together. It's like a big family. Yeah, but you have to choose well, you know, because if some people are not good uh, level or not good temperament, it could be, uh, you know, not very good for you. Yeah, so we have to choose it <laughs> and make a rule where whoever argues three, three times and you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Once, okay, but three times. You know. Be a little tolerant, my God. <laughs> he was a meditator, huh? So strict. <laughs> huh? Oh dear, yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I imagine that, like that. It's also nice. But we started that in Florida, but it didn't work after a while. I had to leave, you know, because of the karma, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, and I paid for that center all myself. Yeah. So maybe if you guys paid together, it might last longer. Because it's like hard earning. 
you know, like like you earn it yourself. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. maybe maybe that helps. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Whew. Just the idea is good. It's just sometimes yeah. That's it. I don't yeah. know how good it is. <laughs> Because when you live together, you have to do like a farmer every day. I don't know if you like it or not. Yeah. See, someday when it's sunny and you take a whole hour, you say, ho, 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 and <laughs> go and do some potatoes. But <laughs> when it's raining and wet and cold, you say, oh, just <laughs> like to stay indoors, you know, and sit. I don't know how farming life appeals to you. You see what I mean? I sit here, it seems romantic. And if master is there, okay, I do anything. <laughs> but when she's not there, why the heck? What the heck I'm doing here? <laughs> there are no movies around. <laughs> There's nothing. And maybe you get bored. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. I'm no? sure it's okay because we are not doing business. No. We just grow it enough for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Yeah. So it's just like like me. I do the window business. Uh huh. In for, just if, enough. Yeah, yeah, enough is enough. And you just couple hour and then come back. Oh, that's running. Uh -huh. Then oh, God, can we go back and meditate? Oh, and that's yes. it. You know, oh. I just be enjoy that way. Nice. Yeah, that's, so nice. That's good. Not because you are all contented inside. Mm. That's yeah. why yeah. you really are following my teaching. Otherwise, mm. you get bored easily. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you really meditate. That's mm. why. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm glad. So you have to pick the right minded. Yeah, the like-minded, yeah. otherwise yeah, this is yeah, yeah. creating trouble. I know that very well. Yeah, Community yeah. Uh, life has to be really harmonious, you know? Mm, you have to mm. be like one, individual but one. Yes. Uh, yeah. Easy, yeah. okay, simple, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, I'm trying, okay? See yeah. how it goes. Mm. Sometimes I dream I have somewhere nice for the pets, for the mm. dogs, and mm. get birds and dogs and... <laughs> And dogs and birds. <laughs> nice for them to run around, you know. But it looks like everywhere I, I go, there's always something. I don't know. Mm, I give up. <laughs> Too tiring. That's why it might be the time for us to try. The, you know, the, the, the bureaucratic stuff. Uh, work. The, the Maya is after me any time. Mm -hmm. The negative power, yeah? It's not that I don't want to do, but uh, I have to let it be sometimes. Let it be, just let it be. Okay, it doesn't matter, no rush, no pressure. Okay. If you don't have that, then don't have it. it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And we continue here. What's wrong with it, yeah. you know? And if sometimes I come here, okay, then I tell you guys and you come together. And squeezing for a day, it doesn't matter, yeah? yeah. You don't have to meditate that day, you know, mm. just sit together, yeah, eat and go home, yeah. Or <laughs> meditate, you know, standing. <laughs> or we can make like a, some like a portable floor, you know, like you divide this into two floors, <laughs> clap for, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a metal shell structure <laughs> and put, put wood on top of it. And some sit under, some sit on top. <laughs> After finish, take yeah. it off. Take it off. And, uh, it's away. Mm. Yeah. Or make boxes, you know. <laughs> 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 One box on top of the others. Mm. <laughs> the clapable <laughs> box, you know. The, and then uh, everybody sits in a box, and on top of that, another box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like this, nobody dares go to sleep, you know, because <laughs> boom. <laughs> like this, you concentrate very well. <laughs> the one under also keeps concentrating, <laughs> praying so that the, the one on top doesn't fall out. <laughs> so both are, you know, united. If you all the boxes are united, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible we invent such thing? You know, like a Murphy bed, you put it in the wall, you know, and when you don't need it, you fold it back. So it's just about this much around the wall. And when you need it, you span it out with some supporting uh, metal pole underneath, you know, some something that has feet like this and a pole on top. So it will stand there. Of course, it doesn't rely on that alone. You must be able to do something like that. I thought about to do that in, in London, uh -huh. discussing one day with the brother. So what happened? Can you? Uh, I just gave up because it seems it will, it's little now, so if we make that plan, it will, it will narrow it too much. Narrow too much? Yeah, everything will come very 
Well, so. No, I could sit yeah. two levels. Yeah. <laughs> of course, just to sit for some emergency yeah. time. Yeah, something that can be done. Mm. Uh, it's a matter of making it safe for the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. The head is so hard, nothing can, <laughs> 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 nothing can, can ruin it. <laughs> yeah, nobody is more hard headed than my disciples, don't worry about it. <laughs> Many years already, I still see like hitting the stone. <laughs> That's why I don't hit you guys. Cause we only hurt my hand. <laughs> Not because I'm sweet or gentle, but I'm worried about my hands. That's it, okay? <laughs> no, no, he's not so desperate like that yet, huh? Oh, England, <laughs> just very expensive. Why? Why is that? All the prices of the house just go down. Yeah, I know, I know. But it has always been. You know, London is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Yeah. But why? What is that there? They live out of the profit of the housing market. That's what the people from Britain benefit. So all the... Yeah. the so they're selling to make money. To so make the money. England lives that's on, the, on they, the money, on it. the real estate market. Yeah. But who go to London to buy yeah. a house? Everyone. <laughs> huh? Everyone. Everyone keep What do you mean? Why everyone? Jobs. Good jobs? No? Oh, high pay in London. How high can you be when you pay so much for the house? What is it about London that people like? I don't know. It can't be the weather. I can't. <laughs> it's, you're right about being anonymous because uh, it's a lot of people come to London from yeah. foreign countries. Yes. Because it's so free, you can yeah. be exactly who you want to be. So it's true. It's it's like that, I think. But how anonymous can you be if you want to live somewhere? You have to put your name down and electricity yeah. bill and everything. Yeah. Anywhere is the same. Yeah. Not that anonymous unless somebody's already there and you just you just cross in and live there, mm. you know, and pay rent quietly. It's mm -hmm. different, but. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say I hate London or anything. It's just so crowded, you know? Mm. And it's not really that appealing, except some areas like the Queen Mother area, you know, James Street or Park Lane or Westminster, just a couple of places, right? <laughs> and even then, it doesn't That's appeal. Huh? That's still very crowded. Still doesn't appeal to me. Does it appeal to you? No. But everybody talks about London. Well, what is it? Why? Because of the palace? What is it in London? Other people um, like the way of life because yeah. they can. everything is so easy to get to. Like where I come from in Cape Town, it's um, like transport's very difficult mm -hmm, of um, and things like that. And over here, the transport, you can get on a tube, you can get anywhere. Uh -huh. And, you know, if you want to go out late at night, or, you know, for other people, they enjoy that. So they can go and do whatever they want at whatever time they want to. It's constantly going. I don't really see anything there in London that's going anywhere, <laughs> coming anywhere. It's, it's all streets and houses. <laughs> you know, for example, in my army, okay? Yeah. Then I can understand, okay, there are discos, bars, restaurants everywhere along the street, you know, and you can see it. But in London, I don't see anything. There's pubs, because they enjoy, it's a very, it's a pub culture. Yeah. So they go, the, yeah, yeah. they go and drink <laughs> all day long, all night long. Jesus Christ. Until they fall out the side. <laughs> Just because of the pubs? Yeah. But you can also live in Ireland and go to the pub. <laughs> Even more pubs. <laughs> Oh, here you can go to pubs as well, no? Yeah. Don't have pubs here? Everywhere in England you have pubs. You can, but the, the network system in, in central London for getting around is, is, is much more easier. Oh, the metro? Yeah. Whereas the further out you go is not quite as connected. Whereas in London, if you want to get on the tube, because it runs till like quite late. The tube, okay. <laughs> Underground, the tram. Underground. <laughs> okay. And they got the train, the tram, the tube, the <laughs> top. The <laughs> okay, okay. But where do you want to go in London? Is there anywhere worth going? No. 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 That's not so, one of us. Come out here. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't get it. I can't get it either. People like the social life, I think. But what is the social? They oh, there's nothing there at all. I don't see anything that's worth going in or coming out. <laughs> I know. 
Maybe as he pop, but what is a pop? It's just so dark inside and smoky and, and dingy, and s- smelly. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, smoky. Oh, it's going there. You just feel like you're in the cloud, you know. You can't see. Maybe that's why, you know, they feel like closer to heaven or something. <laughs> <laughs> they feel that in the cloud, you know. <laughs> it's very cloudy, you know? <laughs> cloud nine, you know. I think it's in the cloud ten, you know, because it's so. <laughs> so smoky, you can hardly find the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they are very friendly in London, I have to say, and very sociable. I'm surprised, you know. Like the last time I went to London for a passport, I just sat because inside it was so smoky. So I went outside in the freezing winter, you know, just and just read the newspaper. Just to be out there, you know, I was waiting for the passport. And some people just came and said, Oh, all right, love. <laughs> yeah. And then just sat right there, you know. And then, oh, what's in the news, love? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I'm, you know, here, they like half of it. Oh, thanks, love. And then read it. No problem for them. It's like family. And I like that too. I do like that. It's just the pubs that I don't like. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you go in there, you don't need to drink. You just sit there and. S- Breathe in all this smoke yeah. for a while, and then you, oops, you know, <laughs> you go out on high. <laughs> they like to high, uh, high heaven, uh, <laughs> cloud nine. That's why. Oh, terrible! How do people sit there all day, and what football and all? You know, yeah. loud crowd and cloud. <laughs> <laughs> that's the impression I have of the pubs. Yeah. There's nothing much there that I like, you know. Smelly clothes and smoky atmosphere, and everywhere just full of ash and on the table, you know, and beer. Oh God! So that's that's what London is. No, that's why people like London. Yeah, a lot a lot of the people like that kind of socializing. A lot of the people. God bless them then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And help them. There's a lot of people come from Australia and New Zealand, all different countries, just yeah. to, just to be in London. There's more foreign people in London than there are. Yeah, I think it's also got to do with the money, though. Just to think of London, I'm tired already. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> hmm? A lot of people come here because um, the pound is so strong. So they come to earn pounds, and they can travel to all over the world because it's it's easier to travel um oh. here than it is to travel from anywhere else because it's it's sort of cheaper than what it would be in any other country. So mm-hmm. they get drawn to London because of the pound, and then they sort of use London as a base and mm-hmm. then travel to different places. And, you know, they go for two months traveling okay. here, and they'll work a little bit here. Okay, I understand. A little bit there. Yeah, it's true. You work for three months in, you know... In London, earn lots of money, go to Africa, spend it, understand. Yeah, <laughs> then come back, work Thailand, hard, hard, yeah. hard, hard, and then go back and spend yeah, it. Yeah, Thailand, <laughs> Mexico, you can leave on $7 a day, $15 or something, a month. Sorry, it depends on where, you know, of course. <laughs> I worked in a restaurant, a vegetarian restaurant, and um, there was a girl that I worked with from Australia. Yeah. And she worked there for only about a year, I think, and she'd saved enough money to go back to Australia and build a house, get a house. And, Oof. You know, it's crazy. What kind of house is that? Plastic? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty much in the sticks, in the bush, you know, so yeah. very remote. Yeah, for, oh, it's maybe true, quite yeah. true. Yeah, like yesterday, the story I told you about the boy in Rwanda, 30 pounds on 30, yeah? And he can buy a plot of land and cultivate it. And I don't know why all the people stick in uh, England and don't go live somewhere cheaper. Here, <laughs> to buy a plot of land costs so much. <laughs> Nobody in Rwanda ever dreams that you spend so much money just to buy a plot of land and you buy there for $30, 30 pounds. I mean, 30 pounds you can buy a plot of land and all the equipment you need to farm and do things yourself. Wow. Some corners of the world, hey? Can't imagine. Just even then in Thailand and all that, you could live on maybe 50 pounds per month or less even. Huh? You live like a king there already. But nobody wants to go there and live like a king. I'd rather stay here and be slaves. Beautiful, yeah, it's beautiful, huh? No? Oh, Lovely. Yeah. Too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Too hot, but it's no, no big. What I just mean an exa- an example, you know? Or where else, you know? Anywhere, really. Many places are cheaper. Even in Europe, you know, like Croatia or 
Bulgaria is still very cheap compared to England and elsewhere in Europe. But nobody wants to go there. Why? Get used to it. Get used to it. It's true. And you just stay here and think of here. And <laughs> yeah, I guess so. There's also, uh, there's also a lot of places in uh, is it Croatia and that that used to have wars. They, when they used to have war and uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. Um, and then after the war finished, um, the cheap. place was deserted. And it's really cheap. But my cousin who lives in Switzerland, he went um, over with his wife once. And he said, it's so beautiful over there. He said, no one wants to go there because there's, there's still like land bombs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's land like, mine. yeah. yeah. So they've got to take you, like to, the people that take you there, have got to show you exactly where to step so you oh. don't... Just but don't he said go that out that of your garden, eh? No. <laughs> you never know. You might not oh, come back. <laughs> but they do I, say it's very, very beautiful over I there. I know, but... It's a pity that you can't... You can't how no, long no, it you lasts? can't do anything. But... <laughs> <laughs> how long it lasts? Yeah, God, tomorrow. The beauty. <laughs> But, but it's a pity because it's like, you know, all that stuff I know, is underneath I know. the ground and yeah, such I know. beautiful in Cambodia and all that, you know. Yeah. It's horrible. War-torn country, you know. Yeah. It's beautiful everywhere. It's just how long it lasts, you know. Your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not nice to live there and feel, oh, can I step out there of this carpet? <laughs> <laughs> how many millimeters? Yeah. Oof, I'm telling you, huh? It's not that good, is it, huh? No. Uh, people make the mess of our beautiful planet, you know? These war mongols, those idiot astros. Naughty boy. I know, naughty. <laughs> spank their bottoms. <laughs> so get all of them here and spank them. <laughs> all in a row. <laughs> Whip them. <laughs> and throw candy at them. <laughs> With them, with our celery sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Pour apple juice under their heads, <laughs> wake them up. <laughs> wow, naughty, naughty, huh? Tell Santa about it. <laughs> A naughty list, big time. <laughs> no more Christmas. Double, for you. <laughs> double, double naughty. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Mm. And we've been talking all this nonsense stuff. All right, I got to go and uh, maybe we talk again someday, huh? Maybe this weekend or something. Thank you for coming to this night. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know. I don't know where is my home. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. You're welcome here. Thank you. I just, what I mean, I don't know where I really feel that I could stay or, you know, it's always do something. I don't feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Great to see you. Bye-bye. 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 Nếu không được một buổi Xin đừng gieo cây đắng Nếu không One, two. First time? Yeah? First time today, yeah? Can you see behind it? <laughs> Have you eaten, yeah? Yes. You did? It's not a break time now? Outside. They're cooking now? Yeah. Now? <laughs> Why now? It's just delayed a little. Why? Why so late? Huh? We had lunch but not dinner yet. Oh, so late? I think it's between 6 and 7.30. 6 and 7.30 have lunch, uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. oh. Eat two times a day? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Belgium, so far? How long it take you? Uh, you work driving? No, no. <coughs> By train? Yeah, three ah. hours. Three, four hours only? Wow. That's not very far. I thought it's uh, at the other end of uh, the planet. <laughs> it's good. It's good. And you? The new one? You? I'm from Harrow, but I come from Africa. From Africa, just now? 
I come from Hero. Oh, Hero, okay. I mean, now, where do you come from? Also from Belgium. Belgium? Train? Yes. Took train together? No. No. Why take train? Is it more convenient? It's cheaper. Cheaper? Yeah. Cheaper than car, right? Yeah. Ah, Belgium. How many people in Belgium? Fifteen, twenty. Fifteen, twenty. Not growing? Uh, slowly, yes. Slowly, okay. <laughs> you saw Belgium? Yes, yes. How many people from Belgium? Right then. Three. Three is a good number. <laughs> what do you guys do? Just a house somewhere, right? House of contact person or something? Yes. Yeah? Well, we have two So and we meditate in a house. I mean, uh, our brothers. Yeah, sisters, yeah. I understand. Yeah. And we rotate. So uh -huh. Sometimes we rotate. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Have a chance to check everybody's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's convenient. Yeah, it's cool. How come only Belgium people? Anyone else? From where? New one? Where are you from? London. London. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, where from? Cork, Ireland. From Ireland? Okay, cool. Welcome. <laughs> Cork is a very nice city, right? Yeah, pretty, yeah. How do you spell it? C O R K? C O R K, Cork. It's like a. Yeah, <laughs> What a name. And do they drink a lot there? Yeah, too much. <laughs> I heard in the news that the English people are drinking themselves more and more now to death. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably they like to go to heaven sooner. What kind of heaven, you know? <laughs> a dizzy heaven. Hmm? Yeah, that's a problem because people are so frustrated. Yeah, they have nothing to do. And uh, I mean, they do have things to do, but every day is the same, you know, nothing interesting. <laughs> Just go out, earn money, and take care of kids and wife, husband, whatever, and then uh, just life is not that interesting, right? Or not? Are your lives more interesting? Yeah? Compared to before? It's better? Yes. Yeah, like what? Tell me. Like every weekend you have free lunch or something. <laughs> free room. <laughs> free room to sit around. <laughs> you find more interesting? Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. All right. Then do something interesting. Yeah? <laughs> In return. <laughs> what do you think you do? Huh? What kind of interesting thing you can do for people? Tell me. Apart from coming to the center and just sitting there, huh? What would you do? Bless the world. Bless the world. Wow, <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> How? How? By meditation, huh? Yes. Well, that's good enough. That's good. I mean, it's good, but not good enough, is it? Is it good enough? Well, in a way, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, Belgium, fifteen people. Yeah, I think um, yeah, 15, 20. 15, 20. Yeah, and retreat the same? Uh, retreat mostly 20 then. Uh -huh. Every Saturday, 15. Uh -huh. Any other country? Except the UK, anyone else come from another country? Uh, Ireland, is it growing anything? Yeah, growing. A lot of immigrants in Ireland. A lot of immigrants? Yeah, people from Eastern Europe and uh -huh. Africa. A lot of people joining. Join your meditation group? Oh, well, there's only six in Cork. So uh -huh. yeah, it's a small, small still, yeah. smaller city. How about Dublin and other cities, big ones? Nobody comes from there? Growing all the time. Growing all the time? Really? Uh -huh. Good, good. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, the one behind, just raise hand. Who was that? Yeah, Cork as well. Uh, from Cork? Yeah. Ah, okay. You both are growing? Yeah. <laughs> Six people? <laughs> Six is a good number. Huh? <laughs> Chinese feng shui. <laughs> you have a lot of shui over there, huh? A lot of water, huh? Cork, huh? Do you have any feng? <laughs> wind? <laughs> yeah, okay. A lot of feng shui. <laughs> I mean, wind and water. <laughs> they have a lot of water in Cork, you know. They live next to the sea. Yeah. It's a nice city, you know? People tell me. Yeah. yeah. Big population? 
No. 120,000? No. Well, you know, that's cool. At least you know where you live. <laughs> A lot of people, they don't know what's going on around here. <laughs> I was thinking if I come to England, you know, uh, then I would rely on the local gods, you know, <laughs> to conduct me here and there and to tell me what's happening and where is a good place, uh, but they don't know anything. I have to find out all by myself. <laughs> I have to keep asking, you know? Yeah, you guys are too comatose, eh? <laughs> don't read newspaper, don't watch TV? Watch the news? <laughs> no? Just a little bit, I think. Just a little bit, you know. Because I remember many times before, every time there was a disaster, I had to call Melly and tell them, look, do something. <laughs> And they say, where, Master, where? <laughs> and I had to tell them where. And they say, well, what's the town? You know, <laughs> like, what's the country? I told them the country, and what's the town? And I had to tell them how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even I remember in America, there was a big, uh, what, what was a very big event in America? Not the 911, I mean, the, the natural disaster, I forgot. Yeah, something like that, whatever, many, anyway, many, I always have to call them. And even, believe it or not, Taiwan, there was a very big typhoon before. How many years ago? A couple of years ago. I had to call them. That was the biggest one that, at that time, I had to call them. <laughs> call Meli, everybody was meditating. Didn't answer the phone. <laughs> and I don't have the, the address of the contact person. Mostly I don't call contact persons to bother them, you know what I mean? They're just for they're just for you guys. Anything is for you guys. Nothing for me really. I don't have the list. I sometimes have the list, but I call them the leaf machine on all the time. Oh, there was one contact person. I got through, and then uh, he said, "Who is it?" I said, well, "It's me." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Who's me?" <laughs> it's okay. He wanted me to spell the name, yeah, I can see A, Charlie, Hotel, <laughs> India, <laughs> November, Golf. <laughs> and then the, the light went dead. <laughs> Just half of the name and the light went dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the other end. <laughs> so I, when I called back, it didn't work again. <laughs> beep, 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 busy, you know. It's okay, I try, I can't. So I had to call someone that I knew before, one of the Hufa, you know. I'm on the rare hoofa that used to go around with me before, a long time ago. I called him and told him, please contact whoever that is still alive in Taiwan. <laughs> Whatever contact person is still alive or the Maori, wake them up or drive there, tell them there's a big disaster. And you guys have to wake up and go do something, don't just sit there. And then they began to organize things. It was really amazing. I was in America. And uh, when I had a chance to go back to Taiwan, the lecture the last time in Taiwan in Taipei, the press even asked me, did you even come back when we had disaster? <laughs> did the master, <laughs> did the master worry about us that we had disaster? I said, sorry, I was in America. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? It's the truth, it's the truth, you know? So you guys are too comatose, eh? Too comfortable, yeah. All of your Buddhas except me. I have to work. <laughs> the Buddhas don't work, you know. Mostly they sit under the Bodhi tree, <laughs> that, and they don't do anything. Is that the concept? Huh? Is that what it is? No. It looks like you're all Buddhas to me. Yeah. Even the center, they asked me to buy for you. My God. <laughs> what 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 kind of <laughs> disciples is this? <laughs> Not only do I even take anything from you, but I have to pay. <laughs> All of you are very expensive already. How much per head, you don't know, <laughs> before you even come and sit here. <laughs> you know, we have to pay for lectures and all kinds of stuff, you know, organizing airplane and stuff. I guess you guys are already very economizing, right? Sometimes we just waste money on so many things that we don't need. Otherwise, our lives would be less expensive and more joyful. There was a program on TV I watched two days ago. It said there was a guy who's supposed to pay for 20 years, you know, the mortgage. But there's one expert who came and taught them, the couple, 
how to pay it in two years only. And they really did. Yeah. He came and checked out whatever I had to cut, you know. For example, the, the husband loved to buy all kinds of gadgets. Yeah. You, you saw this program? Yeah. You did? Yes. Okay, okay. And so he said, well, don't eat, don't eat. He bought a lot and he just left it laying there. So number one, they took it all out and sold it. Got us there, took some money in. And then from now on, if he has to buy something, he has to consider, really, must be really necessary. Otherwise, don't buy. That's number one thing. Number two, instead of going to restaurant to eat every day or, you know, coffee shop or canteen, whatever, they just packed a sandwich, lunch, yeah, and took their own coffee. And they save a lot every month. Not a lot, but it's here and there, here and there, you know, and it added up. And the first six months, they save about 6,000, six months, yeah, so 1,000 per month. Yeah, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know? Like the girl also smoked, and he pointed out that two packets, one packet per week. How much is that? How much it costs? I forgot, you forgot. Like 14 pounds or something per week. You know, it's just not even, she doesn't smoke two, three packets a day. Yeah? And then uh, how how is it? He calculated it per year. You could even buy a car. The whole year, you know, or two years. In two years, and two years pass very quick. You could buy even a car if you don't smoke. <laughs> I hope you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, instead of going by car, yeah, to work, they go on the train, like this brother and sister. Cheaper, yeah, and quicker and safer. They sit there, read newspaper, catch up with things, read master books, yeah, or whatever, yeah, and, or learn something new while sitting on the train. Yeah, so they save another, <laughs> you know, maybe hundred or fifty per month. No more, more. Petrol is very costly nowadays, right? And if you keep running here and there all the time, go to work with it, it probably costs more, right? It depends on where you go, of course. But at least you save a couple of hundred pounds per month, or not? You save a couple of hundred pounds per month if you go by train and not go by car to work, or not? You got parking as well. Parking tickets, oh, parking uh, space and everything, oh yeah. So you save, like, how much do you save? One of you guys tell me. If you don't go by car to work, how much do you save per month? Probably 200 if because okay. there's insurance and road tax. and. Parking. I know, but even if you don't go by car, you still have to pay for insurance and road tax, right? Uh, no, if you no, don't no. have a car. No, when when you give up your car, then you don't pay for insurance. No, what I mean is, if you don't have a car, but if you have a car laying in the garage, you still have to pay, right? Yeah. Or you yeah. pay less or not? You can pay less on uh -huh. insurance. Because in America, you pay yeah. less if you, you prove that you don't ride uh, more than once a week. It depends on how much. Oh, yes. That's even cheaper. Okay. Well, uh, just say 200 per month. That's about 2,400 per year, no? Wow. 2,400, you can buy a lot of things with it, yeah? And in 10 years, you will have how much? 24,000, 24, yes. but if you invest it, a lot more. Huh? If you invest it, yes, you yes, yes. a lot more. You have more interest. Okay, so maybe you will have 4,000 in two years? Uh, you will have 4,800 in two years, and then with interest, probably 5,500. Wow. Okay, see that? Five and a half thousand, you can go into Himalayas, sit there for five years, <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> Master? Yes? Maybe uh, I can help. I'm a financial analyst. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing just this. <laughs> okay, for example, like that. I'm doing the analyzing for them. Yeah, for example, huh? and that, that's just not all, huh? many other things. Like you go buy the sales clothes instead of buying the trendy ones, yeah? I wait until winter sales or the end of season sales and you save a lot more money. And I wear simple, practical clothes, so you don't always have to change and, and, and be in the mode or anything like that. Well, if you want to live a free life, you can't just always be modish, yeah? And we don't even need that. Occasionally, maybe in some special, if you go to work and you have to have an interview or some job that needs presentable clothes maybe you need, but you don't have to pay a lot of money for, for brand names, you know? There are some uh, cheaper uh, clothes that look good as well. Yeah? Okay. 
That's for example. But uh, the the two couples, not only they save on those things, they also work extra. And she was like good at singing, and he was good at doing some other things, you know. And they went out and worked and brought extra income every week. Yeah. And because every money you earn and you save, it means you're earning as well. Yeah. And of course, if you earn more, then it adds up, you know, all the time. So there are many ways we can live a happy life without having to, you know, work a lot or without having to, to toil, you know, day and night just, just to burn it. <laughs> yeah. Plus all of that, you don't drink alcohol. You don't know how much it saves you every month, do you? Do you know? Yes. Do you? For example, if you drink like a couple of beers every day, how much would you save a month? Two hundred. Two hundred? Wow. What luck? Easily. Yes, 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 yes. Because not only you drink, the French come and then other be- drink together, you know, and then he invites you, you invite him, and then more and more, and it's always more. And not not only that, it costs your health, and you have to go more to the doctor, pay lots of money for medicine. And your insurance mounts up. If you are more sick, the insurance gets more money. Yeah. Next time you want to insure your health, they will check how many times you visit the doctors and how ill you are. They they will just raise up the money. And not only that, if you have an accident, it might cost you your life. Um, your arms or your legs. Even it might cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> the way the English people say it. And then. If you die, okay, it's end of the story, fine. But if you didn't die, and then you will be dependent forever, maybe on health support or air support, oxygen support, and then you just lay there and be a burden to your family and society and make sadness for everyone. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.5 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. One in six deaths on the road in the UK are caused by drunk driving. In Australia alone, 70% of adults are negatively impacted by another's drinking, with 43% affected by physical or verbal abuse. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express anxiety and distress about their parents' alcohol and drug abuse. Alcohol is the source of more than 1 in 20 deaths across the globe. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion U.S. dollars in the United States, 2.41 million pounds for prescription medications each year in England, U.K., with overall health costs in the billions, 210 to 665 billion U.S. dollars globally. Disease, higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168% cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum, linked to 20% of breast cancer cases. Liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, sleep pattern disturbance, including frequent awakening and reduced rest, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, birth defects, children afflicted by anxiety and depression, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases, suicides, 20 to 50% of cases, plus more, For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. So don't talk about benefit of meditation or anything. My job already clears you a lot of trouble. My teachings already clear you a lot of trouble. Yeah, even if you don't meditate at all and if you don't see any Buddha or you don't become any Buddha, <laughs> you're already safe. A safe citizen for yourself and for the world. Understand? Because drinking and driving kills thousands, tens of thousands of people every day. Hundreds of thousands of people die around the world every day because of drinking and driving. Not only the driver, 
the other drivers around him as well, yeah, including women, children, pregnant people, anyone. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Well, now you know our teaching is good for you, eh? So any complaints about my teaching, right, Zen? <laughs> now, good. <laughs> okay, so it's all right, but I think you have grow up, so I just help a little bit. I don't want to keep changing your nappy anymore. <laughs> it's no good for you, huh? Have to do something, work together, make you feel united and strong. Hmm? Everything too easy come, easy go. Nah? In the in the younger period of your life, I did everything for you. This time you do a little bit, okay? Yes. So I do a lot also. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, I'm just thinking, um, do, do you think that we in Belgium should also get our own center or keep it the way it is? Like? I don't care, whatever you like to do. <laughs> okay? Whatever you feel, you know, you have to talk together, okay? It's not my business, don't drag me into it. <laughs> uh, it's only fifteen people, you know. I don't know. I don't know how many people have ideas in it, and I don't know your financial situation. Yeah, all right. Yeah. It's not really necessary to have a center per z, you know. But if you want to, you know, if you feel like you could stay together instead of going out to work and pay rent, you 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 pay in for the center and stay together, and then uh, other brothers and sisters, you know, can go stay together, plant some vegetables, go out to work and do in both and meditate together. It's also fine. Yeah? Uh, very easy to plant vegetables. Yeah. You can live there. Instead of paying rent outside, you pay rent in the center, yeah, for the mortgage. And then you can plant vegetables, and there's extra things that you don't have to eat outside uh, food, also very healthy. Yeah, like you work five days a week, huh? or sometimes six days a week, and the other day you don't know what to do. <laughs> and you go out in the garden, plant something, and eat from your own labor. It's very fun. Yeah, You don't have to make a big deal, just plant something simple first. Don't start an organic farm for the 25th century, okay? Then you get fed up quick. Just plant some small, small things, and if you're interested and you feel good, continue planting other things and more study into it, yeah? It's fun to have your own tomatoes, okay? And uh, it's more independent and more healthy, a healthy lifestyle. According to research, the people who are farmers, the marriage, who both are farmers, you know, they are the most happy. And the second is the doctors. The third is, uh, I don't know what, maybe a bit, huh? teachers, yeah. The fifth of the most happy couples. And then businessmen, uh, the, the last of the fifth, but still, they're more happy than the others. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why other jobs don't make people so happy. I guess because you're productive, you know? You plant things together and you watch it grow, you know, and then you, you have your own food. You just feel happy, yeah? Also, if you plant your own vegetable, one sister in Belgium, they, she and her husband, they have a small, they have a small uh, planting, mm -hmm. and um, one time she bring a courgette to the center, and it's like this big. I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. It can be very big if you know how, yeah, yeah, if you know how. Anyway, uh, you could also ask the brother who 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 knows how to plant those things. You don't even need fertilizer or anything. I heard according to him. You don't even turn the, the the earth, you know? Just plant it and cover it with grass and it grow very big. I saw some people grow, you know, chukini is so big, big like this and long. So it, it must work. Yeah, and vegetables grow so big and big leaves and big stem, everything. So big, big. They could hardly eat it themselves. It's too much, <laughs> too much, you know? So they had to give it to the center, a bigger center to eat. <laughs> So I think if you stay, you know, some together and plant vegetables, it would be okay, yeah? Extra income, you know, extra and fresh vegetables for you. And you go out to work as usual, yeah? Still have your money, pay the rent there instead of pay the rent outside. And uh, on top you have vegetables, yeah? And stay together, meditate, and help each other. It's fine. But it has to be peaceful, you know? If any strong character, better not go in there, huh? <laughs> you have the right to choose who can be the residents, okay? Anything else you want to tell me or ask questions? Has to be spiritual and productive, okay? Don't drag me into your family quarrels and, and, and all that stuff is so ugly and low low level, okay?
I already taught you everything, how to deal with family in every circumstance. And if you don't know, then go home and read books again, my books. Hi, Master. Um, I was just wondering, you know, um, there's five levels, fifth house. If people don't reach the fifth level yeah. in this life, mm. I presume we come back again. No, it depends on where you go. Uh-huh. If you're on the third level, you don't have to come back. Uh-huh. You don't want to. Uh-huh. You can. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So if you are only making it to the first or second level in this lifetime, because remember, I, I know before mm-hmm. when I was listening to your tapes or reading yeah, yeah. something, That's right. you were saying about different people moving at different rates and all right, that sort right, of stuff. Right, right, right. And I was just wondering that. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, but you better make it to the third, because <laughs> at this time, anyone except the third level people are not protected. Yeah. I mean, the second pe- second level people are still doomed yeah. for disaster, maybe not dead like the astros, yeah. but I have been in trouble also. Okay. And this time is like that. This period of the, of this planet is like that. It's a big cleansing. Yeah. You can see it everywhere around the world. I. I told you before, and I tell you now, it's the same. Yeah. Before it happened, I told you already. Yeah. And now it's happening. <laughs> it's been happening. I tell you the same stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it for yourself, huh? Thank you. All right. Mm. Uh, most of you are on the third level upward anyway, so I don't worry too much. And the guys who have come in and uh, are still on the astral or second level, that's is not my problem anymore. <laughs> okay. But still, they are more protected than the ones outside who don't have. Yeah, they are still given a chance to develop as long as they live until the the time they die. Understand? They're still given the chance more than the astro who has no master, because at least the astros in my house they are vegan. They don't kill. They don't steal. They don't intoxicate themselves. They don't do any bad things to other people. So heaven gives them a chance to continue developing. But the astro outside, they are not protected. In the sense, they continue to do more bad things. And that's the problem. Since you came uh, last week, and uh, you t- you taught a lot of people here the gift, uh, we were, I've been meditating this week and uh, felt so tired. But I feel really uh, intelligent, really bright, mm-hmm. really full of life and ideas, and uh, and all the the other the new brothers and sisters that you taught that to. We had a group meditation this week, and when we were together and talking, they felt so intelligent, so happy, so vibrant. We could understand many things without even thinking. But, so I thank you for that, obviously. Uh, but my question is, when I wake up in the morning, I was, I've been so tired, incredibly tired. And I think, is this because you, you've lifted us so high that uh, we have to probably need much more meditation to sustain that level, is it? Yeah, possible. <laughs> But then I thought it was just me. Maybe I'm getting old or something. <laughs> but they, <Maybe. laughs> th- they had the same problem. Uh, all of those uh, people with me, they had the same problem. That it's just the physical body gets tired. Yeah. It's too much power, I guess. You yeah. get used to it. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> you get used to it. Thank you. I have a hair dryer, a hair, hair blower, you know, a hair curler, and it's um, something hundred something watt, huh? and in, in the hotel I don't yeah. have the, the European plug, you know, a socket. I try hard to plug in, uh, it didn't work. Somebody give, show me the trick to put a spoon inside to push something, it didn't work still, so I put it in the bathroom. I say shavers only, <laughs> and it went <laughs> <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> So I had to spend like $70 to buy uh, another one. It's not as good, but whatever has to be done, you know? I have to look a little bit better for the photo, no? <laughs> My photo earns money, huh? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. I'm just kidding, but if you don't, you know, because I know if I'm at home, I don't care about my hair so much. And it goes <laughs> So I have to tame it a little bit, yeah? Yes, brother. So you see, too much power can kill a thing, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, <clears throat> this is actually not a question, but I just want to thank you. Um, I was meditating with your methods for uh, since 96, and I had so much benefit. And um, 
96? Yeah, it's a long time, eh? Yeah. Okay, and then? I, in the beginning, I never thought I would last one one month. <laughs> Every day, it's like, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm surprised. And I never believed it. I just followed, like, the requirement because I thought it offers so much and it's worth the effort. Yeah. And um, so you've been with me all the time since then. It's Although cool. I was not, like, your best disciple, <laughs> but, I mean, I was just... You are. Yeah. The way you talk, so, you are. <laughs> you. If it's the way it is with you, then you are the best. One of the best. I like those disciples, yeah? yeah, who make progress, who really tune in so that they can feel the benefit. I don't like those who are blind, deaf, dumb, and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, covered with raincoats that even the rain couldn't get through. <laughs> yeah, so I had the spiritual experiences, like I never had that before mm -hmm. until I, I was with you. And uh, I had my own method because I was Muslim, so... Mm -hmm. I, I had my own protection. Before, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when when I was initiated, so I had more experiences and I was in places where I had to like uh, use everything I know and nothing works, but with you, like you were always by my side, so it helps immediately. So so I, I want to thank you. Oh, you're welcome, love. I love, I love doing it for you. <laughs> ah, these kind of disciples. Make me feel like you're worth it. <laughs> okay? And the ones who complain are family and, <laughs> you know, how can I get a daughter, of, uh, I would say a wife for my son or a daughter for my, I don't know, daughter, mother, what? Wife for my, what? Husband. <laughs> Kids. And, uh, what blah, 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 you know, all that is really dragging me down and I feel like I don't want to do my job. Yeah? Because you guys like deaf, dumb, and blind. Hear nothing, see nothing, don't understand anything. These people are too low for me to even be dragging around, you know? But because I had openly uh, given this method before. So some drag themselves in, you know, by the way. So, okay, we let them there. <laughs> but they better keep them out quiet. Otherwise, if I know, <laughs> I kick them out. <laughs> dragging everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah? All right, thanks for being a good guy. <laughs> Anyone else? Master. Yes. I just want to thank you for miracles and, and things that happen every day for me and for making my life. Well, are you cleaning some miracle so, happened? The broom brought oh, flying? Or all little things, all little things happen. You know, you get stuck in the middle of nowhere and a taxi turns up and your car's broken down. And, yeah. And, uh, what kind just, of... just little things, but every little detail is taken care of. And, I understand. Um, Yes. If oh, you tune know. in, you get everything you Life, want. Life's so different now. It was so empty before. But thank you so much. Yes, yes. It's because you have faith. Just tune in, okay? Just trust that the master power is there always with you. If you block yourself from that blessing, then I can't get in. I can't force you to bless you. Sometimes I do, but only emergency. Otherwise, you have to be willing, you know, like a patient, you have to go to the doctor and let him treat you the way he knows how. You understand? The doctor even can't force you. You see, like an emergency, maybe, yeah, somebody else can sign for you, but mostly you have to sign for what you want yeah, from the doctor. So just tune in, baby. Have faith, yeah? Thank you. Have faith. Thank you so much. Very little faith you need, not much. <laughs> Difficult, I know, but it's so easy, yeah? Well, if you, are, uh, if you are children of your parents when you were a kid, the only people you can trust in the world uh, is your parents. There's no choice. Okay? No choice. And if you don't trust your parents, they've got to help you. <laughs> if you wander around, you get trouble. Yeah? All right. Yes, next. Okay, well, well, what kind of car you have that broke down in somewhere that <laughs> I have to help you? We bought it two days before. Two days before? It's an old car or what? Yeah, it is quite old, but it's really well looked after. But um, I still don't know, I think... Sorry? It's still working well? It's about 10 years old. Yeah, it's great now. We'd only bought it a couple of days before, but uh, I don't know. I think sometimes things like that happen so other things can happen. Yeah, I understand. So yeah. people can come along and you can learn from it. Yeah, it's yeah. not exactly the car that's at fault. It's just so we can learn through the experience. Uh -huh. Okay, of, okay. Yeah, How much not, did you pay for it? Um, oh, oh, I've forgotten now. 1,200, 1,200. 1,200 pounds? Yes. Oh, yes. that's cool. So all you need it to go do your job? Oh, yeah, we have to have a car for our job, yeah. How and how, how about two days ago? Where did you go? Oh, no, it was uh, two days after we bought it, it broke down. I know, but 
I thought you said you got it two days that ago. That was last week. Last week we okay. bought it. Before that, how did you? How did you? Oh, we had another work? car, but that just decided it didn't want to go anymore. So the garage took. <laughs> <laughs> the garage across the road took it and get, and sold us this other one, so it was uh, quite convenient. Oh, is it good now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's great car. Right, cool. we, fingers crossed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. What Chinese size are you? Dog. I'm I'm a bull. A what? Ox. Ox. Okay. How about your husband? He's a rat. Ah. <laughs> good together. That's not him though. That's not him. He's upstairs. No, I know. <laughs> No, I don't say it's him. No, I don't. I don't point at him. I say oh, yeah. it's a good sign. Yes, yeah. I see. I I saw a program that's. I know two, what he looks like. Yeah. yeah. Two are compatible. It's. I saw a program about it. Yeah. Supposed to be. <laughs> Supposed to be. Yeah. I think it's uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. So who's working hardest in the house? The the ox, right? I, the ox. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to say too. The much. ox supposed to work very hard, no? Yeah, I'm not I suppose sure. they got just fun. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and and also I just like to say when we have this this big center, the chances we're going to have to grow together and learn from each other. Because when you work together as brothers and sisters, there's a lot you can learn and introspect in yourself and see your faults and correct them. So I think it maybe. speeds speeds up the process a bit, maybe of learning. Maybe <laughs> I hope. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So you still working at that job? I mean, different houses or buildings, big buildings. Um, How did you get the job? Oh, uh, through ringing in a newspaper, uh -huh. and uh, we rung around some house, put some leaflets in some houses' doors. Mm -hmm. We actually only worked twenty hours a week each, oh, okay. but we managed to have enough money to live on. Uh -huh. How much do you earn per per week or month, if I may ask you? It's about two hundred and fifty a week. A week? Just under, actually. Some for some one months. one of you? No, for two. For two, two hundred fifty per actually, week. Actually, sometimes it's less, around two hundred to two hundred and fifty. It varies. Of course, but because we don't do very much, and as you say, we don't eat. No, you're and... doing it, but it's just not everybody calls you every day. Yeah, that's right. You don't yeah. have like steady mm. kind of client, mm. of course, and you have to pay for car and insurance and everything yeah. else. So, uh, two hundred is netto or brutal? It's it's sorry, netto. Oh no, that's net. No, that's what we have. Yeah, you mean in your pocket? Yes, after mm. cars and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh no 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 no! Off <laughs> car. No, we have very little after everything else, oh, but, but we don't need very much. So, so food and car, okay. yeah. insurance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, a little bit more work. We could save a bit more, but it's enough for now. Mm. For now, it's enough. You could even save from that. Yeah, yeah, a little. Yeah, a little. I'm impressed. Because we don't go anywhere really. Yeah, we just work and and it gives us a lot of time to meditate. I'm we don't impressed. do anything else, so you can. <laughs> I'm impressed by your positive. Uh, outlook and mm -hmm. uh, point of view, and you know appearance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we should all feel. You know, it doesn't matter where you work, you know, and how much you you earn. If you're happy, you should count your luck. Many people who want to work don't even have a job. You know, in other countries, you know, or war countries, you have no time to cover yourself every day, even you know, just to stay alive. Yeah. And in England, it's still quite a safe place. Of course, some political mess. They make we have a little terrorism, but don't let, don't let them win, huh? Don't let the terrorists win. Huh? I mean, we still go out and be courageous, normal. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, anyone else who is doing some small job? <laughs> why does he sit upstairs? I don't have enough room here. I don't know why he didn't come down. <laughs> I told you guys you can sit here so some people have more room, no? How many more people upstairs? A lot? Fifteen? Twenty, thirty? Ah, okay. When when I'm talking I can come down. Oh it also doesn't matter. Upstairs I can also see my face, right? It's cool. It's cool. Uh, anything else you wanna tell me? Something nice about your life that you have progress, that you improve, that you feel good. Give me some feedback. Yeah. No, <laughs> Don't just it. complain all day long <laughs> <laughs> and want money. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if I invest in the right company. <laughs> it's just a fair business, right? At least I invest, I get something in return, no? Tell me. No, I was initiated just uh, short of two years ago. Mm -hmm. And 
I was having a hard time at the time, but uh, since then my life has changed totally. Hmm. It's I can't. It's unrecognizable. Yeah. Yeah, and even in a good way, huh? Very good way. Okay. Yeah. I still find it hard with my mind sometimes, but I know I'm on the right path, and uh, I I just want to thank you. Cool. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Anyone else? And I'll just tell you something small. Huh? Just small things that happen. Um, one day. I was I wanted to get weights for lifting. Uh huh. Okay. And I just I said I'd go to Argus for them, and I forgot. And my sister came in that evening with the same weights, saying she bought them, but they were too heavy for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're just, just small things as well. Okay. Good. Well, as long as you're happy with small things, they will keep coming. <laughs> Big things will have it later, huh? Mm. Okay. Oh, whatever you need. If you tune in and if it's really right for you, we arranged. These are small stuff. Okay, good. I'm I'm happy that you're happy. Yeah. The thing is, it's not because I need to hear the award or anything from you. I just want to know that you are happy. Okay. Yeah. Good. And I I'm feel good. I feel the strength this week too of the gift. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just cool down. <laughs> 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 chill. Chill out. It will be okay. Get used to it. I'm telling you, it's very strong. Can't just give it to anyone. Yeah, who else? I would like to add to that because it's so quick when we tune in and it comes so fast. So this is one of the things that I'm really impressed because it's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not even like that. It's before that oh, yeah. even. <laughs> That's true, but then yeah. it's when we notice. I know, it's already like that. Yeah, yeah. okay, I understand. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I love hearing that. <laughs>